Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Build with me and the nerd. Today we take a look at the wall climbing monster truck. Since it's my uh, newest creation and I have it fresh in mind. The plan with this one was, as usual, to try to make a car that gives me more than uh, 5 frames per second. And uh, this time I actually made it. As you can see, it's okay to drive even though I'm recording. And the wall climbing bit. I think I just made it wall climb after I made it into a monster truck. The thing about a monster truck is that the car on top has to be small for the wheels to look big. And the last cars I've made, I haven't really done that, so it just have become huge cars. But this one actually has the look I was uh, planning to get. Okay, let's start. The reason the front suspension is this big uh, it's the same as I tried to explain when we built the um, steampunk SUV. Um, if you're using these big tanks as turning wheels and have the bearing here as you would normally do, this wheel will just flip around and bug out and it will be impossible to steer. So you have to get the bearing on top of the wheel. And even now it has some problems but I guess this is at least the best solution I have found. Okay, so I will I've actually take the backup this time. So I will rip off two of the wheels and we can build it together. And I will um, speed up the process. All right. Alright, so we'll take the easy one first, the back wheel without the turning, or the steering. And as normal, I don't really talk very much while I'm building, so bear with me. By testing, I found out that four suspension per wheel was the right amount for this car. And remember to put blocks on top of the suspension, or else they will just go through the this thing on top. This is just for looks, I guess. The 
There we go. I think. Yep. Okay, over to the front wheel. Hope I remember. So this one I actually removed because uh, if the wheel bugs out and it turns it will get stuck with those blocks here but without it's okay. first actually I'm sure it's other solutions to build it, but um, the thing about this car is I didn't want it to hit the car on top and I didn't want the wheel to go anything any more out. I didn't want the car to be any wider. So this is what I came up with, at least. That's it. Yep, seems right. Then you just connect this to this, of course, and the other way. I think that should work.
Oh yeah, forgot to connect the wheels. So they're just dragging along. Well, it works. Alright, what's next? Uh, when you build a monster truck, they often will get top heavy, obviously. So as normal, I try to build in uh, the air ducts, because they're light. Uh, but you know, all this on the front is heavy, and all the thrusters is heavy. So to try to get it a bit more balanced, I put a lot of uh, medium weight under here. And it seemed to help. Um, I still needed thrusters to get it stable when I'm, uh, you know, running up very steep hills. Hello. Because it tries to take uh, backflips on me. Let's show you. Well, I can show you first. We have two thrusters here, and also the two in the engine. Come on. The two in the engine also is activated with button 4 to get the nose down. So if I uh, find a steep hill. use the button 4 to keep the nose down and uh, button 3 is the thruster underneath to push the nose up if I need the lift to get it up the wall you know and then you have button 5 to push it down when I'm on the wall and those buttons together is how I get it up the walls these other ones is just uh, it's just to get the buttons on 3, 4 and 5, because that, that's easier for my fingers. Okay, so let's try the thing I did in my video. I'm pretty sure I won't do it on my first try, but let's do it. Oh, god. Yeah, it took some tries to get it look that easy. So those two and those two are the thrusters to keep it down with button 5 to keep it stick to the wall. And yeah, that's basically it, I guess. And as I said, when I started this monster trek the plan wasn't to make it wall climbing, but then again, it had been a bit boring, hadn't it, if it just was a normal monster truck. So I just pushed in some thrusters, and um, <laughs> after some tries, I made it wall climb. But it's not easy. But I think it's cool that I can uh, drive it around and. Uh, without having the frame per second drops. If you watch the wheels on the front, you can see them bug out at some point if they get too much weight. But by having the steering bearing on top, it's better, at least. Should we try one more time, just for fun?
I have to get some speed. Oh, almost. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Not bad. Not as smooth <laughs> as on the video. Oh, but you get the point. That's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, tune in next time. We'll build something else. All right. See you guys.